Normally, I have enough time to let you know that I've been in tech for 12 years and love all things cybersecurity, but not today, because I think my dad got his Facebook hacked. <laughs> Come on, Mike, be nice. Dad, let me see your phone. All right, Dad, I know you think you just sent me a link, but it's got malware in it, so I think it's time we talk about social media scams. Hey, all I did was send you an article. And it just turns out that it's got some sketchy links in it. No, I sent you a link about llamas in Texas. Actually, Dad, this is a very common social media scam. All I had to do was hop over to a browser and check the validity of the link. The news story isn't real and it just directs me to a sketchy site. Well, I'll be. Here I thought your Uncle Jax was sending me the scoops. Dad, this is Robert Downey Jr. Uncle Jack is a scam. Look, before you go any further, I need to walk you through five of the most common social media scams. Okay, Mikey, what's the first one? The first one's easy. Have you ever gotten a notification that says, see who viewed your profile? Yeah, of course. Are you sure about that? That is a scam called clickjacking, where they lure you into clicking their link by promising something you want to see. Hello, your computer has virus. Sometimes it leads to a capture page that you can put your personal information in, and then a scammer can choose to sell it, if they see fit. Interesting. I get that all the time on LinkedIn, but it's just an ad. It's the exact same tactic as clickjacking. The next one is when you have someone offer you a free gift card in exchange for sharing a post of theirs. Once again, this is an instance where they want you to divulge personal information by signing up. So, another instance where you don't give out personal information. Exactly right, which leads me to the one you fell for, clickbait news. This one is hard to parse through and figure out, but a great rule of thumb is don't click the links. Don't click them. What if you trust the person that sent it? I will get into why this is a bad idea after this point, but overall, don't click the link. If you want to read the article, do a quick search for the story and see if it's real first. If you click the link, you risk getting malware or being caught in a phishing scam. Okay, that sounds bad. Why can't I trust every link? Well, that gets us into the weird territory of knowing if your friends have been compromised or not. Bravo 6, going dark. They could have been hacked or someone may have been posing as a friend. You never truly know who is on the other end sending you messages on social media. It could be anyone, in fact. Well, it sounds like you don't open up links from anyone. That is correct. If I get a link over social media that I'm not expecting, I don't open it. It is a safe way to make sure my online presence is kept safe. That makes sense enough for me. Then you have the make money from home scheme. Someone may get you to sign up for something that allows you to work from home or money making scheme of some kind. An example could be like, a, let's say a production company wants to hire you to direct a film for them in Iowa. So they send you a check for $2,500 so that you can send them cash back for your flight. And you do so because it happened on Facebook and you trust that other person on the other end and that producer. And so you follow their instructions thinking you're going to get work, but instead you get scammed out of $2,500. Are you okay, Mikey? No. <clears throat> Man, I think this stuff is really messed up. Just wanted to make sure people knew that you can get work from home scams at any time. If they're requesting you to send money of any kind, it's a scam and your money will disappear. And so will they. I hate that people are taking advantage of in these ways. What can I do to help stop it? raise awareness, and take time to learn the signs of social media scams. First off, don't take the bait. I've been trying to reach out to you about your car's extended warranty. Never click on pop-up messages that are meant to get your attention. If you give me your credit card, you will get $1 million in cash. I can also make strong passwords of a minimum of eight characters using letters, symbols, and numbers. Contact companies only through verified and trusted channels. Don't go through a third party to get there. Don't provide any personal information unless I know the website is legit. You don't want private info going to a random third party. And whatever you do, don't be rushed to send money to anyone. Make sure the person who you are dealing with on social media is actually them and not an imposter. <laughs> Sometimes your friends might be hacked. 
You don't get your money taken. That is all to say, make sure you slow down to ask yourself if it's legit first. There's a lot of people out there who want your data to make them money. And remember, let's stay aware out there. I want to sit, get out of my house.